So you're seeing that a traditional carpool lane, an H high occupancy vehicle lane is viewed negatively as capacity increasing. You're, you're seeing that? Oh, for sure. So wow. the, there's a VMT calculator that I believe- uh, The NCST. Yeah. That's the one, yeah. It's very much any lane, HOV lane or otherwise, is considered increasing capacity. I mean, that's a pretty controversial calculator. I mean, there's an yeah, entire no, study no. that's debunked it. Yeah, as... I think it's interesting too, because that calculator will give you the same answer to regardless of whether I believe it's an express lane or HOV lane yeah. or it, it's interesting, right? And it's not necessarily context sensitive. Well, we're talking about something that has like four drop down menus and I've clicked on it, yeah. you know, I've ran it for our project and I'm like, this is ridiculous. Like, right. it's just like, this is not real. So yeah, it's a very uh, high level tool. You really, yeah, you really need to be your own traffic. I've been attending the California Transportation Commission meetings, and I think there's a working group that is, you know, exploring. I, I think it's called the world demand thing, right? Yep, it's yep. it's very much like this is not a one size fits all solution. I mean, in general, I think you and I have seen level of service change to VMT, and it's kind of gone from it's you know a lot more of an art, you know, trying to figure out the rate of VMT per land use, calibrating it with household travel surveys you know trying to understand how all, all of that gets weighted in the model yeah. uh, it's and it's interesting because like you, that calculator they use like you could put that lane anywhere like it doesn't matter where you put add a lane mm -hmm. it's the same answer so yeah i think there's a lot of sensitivity to like you add a lane in a very rural area because you need like a truck crime lane yeah, 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 whatever it is. Does that really add the capacity, right? Yeah. Really, so. so we have done a series of studies over the years, right? I came in, I want to say it's 2014. We were looking at, you know, the traditional level of service stuff when we yeah. were getting it in this project implemented into the county's general plan circulation element. And we would talk, I would go in front of the STA board at the time and talk about congestion relief and say that, well, we had numbers that would say congested VMT, right? CVMT, and it was all negative. And I would get feedback that, oh, we're not just looking at congestion. You have to look at total VMT. So we spent, I mean, over a year going into a sophisticated travel demand model for our project, yeah. working with the land use agencies, et cetera. And we're like, actually we reduced total VMT too. Not a lot, but the number is negative. And we, all of that's up on our website. It's like, boom, you know? And so I would champion that and say, hey, you know, we reduced total VMT. 